Hello, happy Wednesday, everybody. Hey, it's Kathy Nordyke from Drop the Leash Pet Sitting. On Wednesdays, I jump on here to share my Wednesday wisdom with you. So as I mentioned, I'm the owner of Drop the Leash Pet Sitting, and my mission is to teach others how to earn extra income through pet sitting. I'm trying something new today. I'm going live, which I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little nervous. <laughs> Doing video is easier, but I, um, I wanna get brave and I wanna do live on a regular basis. So here we go. I wanna start my broadcast today by sharing with you a short story. I'm on my way home from a pet sitting client's house yesterday, and it's pouring down rain, and I'm driving down Worthington Road, which is a fairly busy, high-speed road near where I live, and all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I see this little white dog running along the side of the road. So of course, I pull over, I jog across the street, and I start walking towards it, I'm calling to it and um, waving it my way and he stops and he turns around and he looks at me and he bolts <laughs> as fast as he can. Fortunately, he ran away from the road and into a condominium complex. So I go back to my car, I drive out over into the condominium complex and I'm driving around looking for him and eventually I do spot him. So I drive up right next to him and I open my car door and I say, hey buddy, you wanna go for a car ride? You wanna go bye bye Thinking like if someone said that to my dog, she'd probably jump right in. He did the same thing. He stared at me for a second and then he ran as fast as he could to get away from me. So at that point, I kind of gave up on that idea and I went home and did a little research on what to do when you find what appears to be a lost or stray pet. And these are the things that I learned. Um, I checked out the website called AmericanHumane.org and um, actually their first suggestion was the thing that I tried and that was to uh, slowly approach the animal, talk to them gently and quietly, don't chase them, don't talk loud, resist the urge to scream if they're running into traffic, but um, to do what you can to make it a, a calm situation so that they're not as fearful and they don't run from you. If you have better luck than I do and you can actually get the animal to come to you, use a leash if you have one. I happen to carry one in the back of my car. Um, if you don't have a leash, you can use a rope or a belt, something to wrap around the dog's um, neck or body so that you can contain them and get them back to um, your house or to your car. Obviously, if it's a cat, the likelihood you're gonna get a leash on it is slim to none. So um, you could place them in a box if you're lucky enough to be able to pick the cat up. Another trick that I've used in the past for getting a stray cat to come to me is I just um, crack open my garage door a little bit. This is, of course, if the stray cat is in my house. Crack open my garage door a little bit, place some cat food on the inside, and once they're inside eating the food, I put the garage door down so that they um, are contained that way. So once you've contained the animal, the next step then would be to help, um, to start making calls to help re reunite them with their actual owner. So um, the step that I took was calling our local humane society called Delaware Humane Society. So you can call your humane society, you can uh, call local animal control. You could also call um, the non-emergency police number and a lot of times they can direct you or if they're not terribly busy, maybe they can send an officer out to help. But um, that would be the next step in helping to reunite a lost or stray pet with their owner. Um, you can also obviously check for ID if they have a collar on, if they have a tag with a phone number. You could take the pet to um, a vet or even some um, pet stores like PetSmart have a scanner. They can scan for a microchip if the pet was lucky enough to have an owner that got them microchipped. That's another way to find them. I um, also, this would be my last resort, but I also learned that one of the first places that most owners who are missing their pet will look is at the local animal shelter. So if you have an animal shelter nearby, um, you may call them and ask if you can bring in the pet as a stray and they can hold the pet there until the owner comes for them. I personally would have a hard time doing that, but it's an option. Um, one of the, the last suggestions that was found on this website that I probably would do is you can post on Craigslist that you have found a pet. 
You can also, um, if your neighborhood has a Facebook page, I know the neighborhood down the street from me does, you can post something on your neighborhood page, uh, especially if you have been lucky enough to snap a photo of the dog. Um, also a great website, and I'm gonna talk to you more about this next week, is petfbi.org. Um, all kinds of lost and found pets listed on that website, as well as great ways to help if you have lost your pet. So we're gonna talk more about that next week, but that's another great one. So those are my tips for today. If you happen to find a stray animal or if, hey, if any of you know who that little white dog belongs to on Worthington Road, um, those will help us get them reunited with their owners. Before I go today, I wanna to say one last thing. I would love to start what I'm gonna call Foster Pet Friday feature. Um, every Friday I want to jump on here live again or, or at least post a video and I want to feature a foster pet that is looking for their permanent home. Um, I think that, that people are willing to watch but what I need is the actual foster dog or cat. So if you are a foster mom or a foster dad and you have a pet that you're trying to get adopted, please reach out to me, comment below this video, send me a message, check me out on Instagram, you can send me a message there too. Let me know you're willing to go on screen with me and let's get your pet adopted, okay? Thanks again for watching. Check me out on Drop the Leash Pet Sitting on Instagram or um, you can visit my website at dropptheleashpetsitting.com. I'll see you next week and we'll talk about what to do if you have lost your pet. Thanks guys, bye-bye.